Good morning, guys. I, like many other, am on this L3 train now. Like, it's a train. It's rolling. Come get on it. Um, so happy with everything that I have purchased from her. Oh, of course, I dropped the sticker. She sends a sticker. I'm not picking that up because that would cause me to pause the video. I'm not doing all that. So, um, she sends a sticker with a very nice quote on it. In addition to a little piece of candy. This is Brock's. And honestly, guys, I don't think I've ever had this before. I've heard of them, but I've never had them. I'm not a candy person. Um, but I'll give it a try. Why not? I'm gonna throw that in the package behind me. Okay, then we have our samples. Which I don't even think I smelled all the samples, but we have coffee bean, butter brickle, vanilla bean Noel. And I think this was on the last ready to ship. And I was like, I wonder what that smells like. Okay. Okay, uh, no. Um, I'm really weird about butter scents. And so far, anything that has butter in it that is hers, not a huge fan of. But I was looking forward to that as far as the coffee scent. And Vanilla Bean Noel is a really good vanilla. The next thing I have, I'm saving for my husband because it's Harry Potter and it's L3 Waxy Wonders The Burrow. I had to confirm that it was Harry Potter because I'm aware of the font, but I don't get the reference. Mm, that's really good. I wonder what that is. There's no notes on it, but this smells so good. It smells like um cream cheese or like frosting or something. This is creamsicle Dole Whip Fizzy Pop. You guys, I smelled this already. I'm not sticking my nose back in there. I do not like Dole Whip. No. So, okay, I had to do it. It smells like feet to me. Okay, no. So no. And I know so many people love that Dole Whip. I just, I don't, it's not, it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. Okay. Let me pause and say like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this because I keep forgetting to say it in the beginning. Okay, next thing, pumpkin pie and a trick tart. everything everything i need this i need this in blends it's so good where am where are these thoughts that i have about blends when they ask me what do i want in blends where are they because anytime anybody is in the facebook groups and they're like what do you guys want to see i'm like cricket cricket because i i just i don't know i just get so like i don't know you make it like <laughs> i have no idea i'm like you're the creative like i don't know but then I, when i smell stuff i'm like oh you know what this would be good with yeah no can't think of it when anybody asks me maybe i should be writing it down the next thing i have is a cloud cake and this is how much i buy from her now that i'm learning her lingo like you can always tell the difference sometimes i'm like this is a shape and it's a square shape but i'm learning i'm learning so this one is a cloud what did I just say it was? It's a cloud shape. What did I just say? Okay, so this is Boardwalk Mallow Clouds, Rosemary Mint, and Pink Sugar. I expected this to work more than I'd like it on cold. And I wouldn't, I'm not gonna pull it out because it's uh, a little melted. But yeah, I kind of expected it to work a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. The next thing I have is, now these I don't know the name of, is it on there? No, but this is pumpkin carvings and it's in parentheses, if you can see that raw pumpkin smell. When I saw this, I was so excited. There's not very many people who offer something like this. Yes, it is the fruitiness of pumpkins, which I know you're like fruitiness of pumpkins. It's not pumpkin spice, it's pumpkin. And it's literally like some the guts of a pumpkin. It is so good. If this has some smokiness to it, here I go with the ideas. Look, somebody write them down. <laughs> that is beautiful. I love that. Oh, I think this is called a matrix melt. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of words. Look at that. And it's very pretty. And then I have two scoopables in the large size. Now, I'm so sorry for that loud noise. That was me dropping the scoopable on the table. But... Okay, so here's the thing about these scoopables. I'm not a fan of the jar, and I'm becoming slowly very picky about how wide the mouth of my scoopable jar is, but I got two scoopables, and one is in Butcher Knife, and Butcher Knife is Graham Crackers Pumpkin Toasted Mallow Leaves. It's six ounces of wax, um, and it comes with a little spoon. I got the silver this time. I have already purchased a spoon from her, but, you know, I can never find it, so that's good. This I got for fall. <laughs> And I don't, I think these are ready to ship, so I'm gonna give them the two weeks to cure, but graham crackers, pumpkin toast and mallow leaves. There's no commas. You guys, this is amazing. Like super fall, like so good. The graham crackers set it off. Like I am so impressed with the scent. Low 40, 
low furby and maybe not low furby this year if i can get a loaf in time i will because i think she's primarily ready to ship she does do some pre-order but if i can't get a loaf and a ready to ship this year i'm not gonna be too hurt about it i have a ton of fall wax but when it comes back around loaf the next thing i have is a repeat purchase i honestly think this is my third time buying this and it's aunt jam's jelly filled rolls drew something with a Y, through something with a Y. He's on YouTube. He has a ton of followers and for a good reason because he has great sense of smell. Now, I did purchase this a little bit before this, but when I saw that he was like, yes, this is the stuff, I was like, see, that's how you know. Like, <laughs> that's exactly how you know. I can like, we, we have similar senses of smell in some areas, in some areas. Now, Aunt, Aunt, I have the hardest time saying this. Aunt Jam's Jelly Filled Rolls is strawberry jam, whipped cream, cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla pound cake, no commas. <laughs> it just smells like amazing. Like it smells real. Like, you know why it smells real? The strawberry is strawberry jam and not strawberry pound cake. And if you're not a strawberry pound cake fan, this might just be for you. If you are a strawberry pound cake fan, this might be for you. But, um, oh, hers come with little things. And I don't remember my last scoopable coming like that. Here, I'm just going to just mess the whole thing up. But here, I can go ahead and peel that off. And it's beautiful. And it, it's just so good. It's so good. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Now, the last two things I got are a Bitty Betty loaf. And I didn't mean to, it's not that I didn't mean to get this. I just wasn't aware of the ounces, I don't think at the time. So it's only five ounces, which is actually less than a scoopable. And I was trying to get this in as large of a quantity that I could. And at the time it wasn't offered in loaves. So this is White Elephant Exchange and it's powdered donuts, wafer, powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, vanilla frosting. And it looks like that and it's this big, it's so small. It almost looks, just a tiny bit bigger than a loaf. I mean, than a clam. But it's so good, you guys. This is one of my favorites from her. Give me all the white elephant exchange. Like, all of it. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Like, it's... I honestly don't think I could live without that scent. Like... And the next time it's offered in loaves, it's another loaf. I'm, I'm I'm getting to the point with her where I'm like, I know I want loaves from her. It's just a matter of me executing the meeting up with her RTS time to get it because her RTS time confuses me per everybody's RTS time. Everybody confuses me. Don't worry about it. So because I just said, give me all the white elephant exchange, I blind bought a loaf. That is a big deal on this channel. That is a huge deal on this channel. I don't typically blind buy loaves. No, let me rephrase that. This is the first loaf I've ever blind bought because I'm so comfortable with her. And I'm so comfortable with the scents that I was like, this is this is going to happen. Like, I'm going to love this. So the loaf that I got was White Elephant Exchange Blackberry Lemon Curd. I knew I was going to like the lemon curd. I knew I was going to like the White Elephant Exchange. The blackberry I was iffy about, but it smells so good, you guys. It smells like real cake. Like, it smells so real. And it doesn't just smell like sugar. So... Here's the thing. This is also a pride loaf. So she made special loaves for pride month, which was July. Are we still in July? No, it was June. It was July. I'm not really sure. I think it was July, but we're still in July. I don't know why I said it like, no, it's June. Okay. We don't talk for this. Ta-da. It's not just purple. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. It's really nice. She did a really great job. Um, and it's huge. It's huge. Yeah. Let me turn it back over. So this will be my next let's chop it up. I didn't think I was gonna have another one, but I definitely have some more things to chop. And she, I'm, I'm, she's, she's on my list. Like we are now, this is us now, me and her. I will be buying her, her for a long time, for a long time. Hey girl, <laughs> we're here. So yeah, get on, get on the train guys. Get on the train, she's good. All right. Like, comment, subscribe for more content like this. Let me stop fidgeting this bag while I talk to you. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And have a great day.